Welcome to the Palm Beach Cardinals and Jupiter Hammerhead show number two here on Roger Dean Stadium TV. I'm Lisa Pride. Now this show will hit the road and travel with the Palm Beach Cardinals over to Tampa where they play the Yankees. Come aboard as we go behind the scenes with the team on the bus, at the hotel, and at the ballpark. So come aboard, grab your pillows and your snacks. Morning. Right, you got it all. Herschel's going two and one and two, right? Here and here and three. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit of the big I always bring a pillow, you never know, it just makes things more comfortable and this trip, uh, it's only four hours, but I slept for about three, so it makes it go a little quicker. Currently awake, Good not for long. Not for long. I bring the pillow on the road trip for, for sleep, more, more comfortable. Our boy is asleep. You know I don't wake up till 11. I just put my shades, because as soon as I hop on the bus, it was an 8 a.m. trip here and to Tampa. That's about three and a half hours of nap time for me. Grammar, how you doing? I'm doing great, Trust. man. Beautiful day ahead. Trying to find a seat. Victim number one, sleeping. Well, on the bus, I don't sleep. I push it. You know, then once in a while, I might sleep 20 minutes. That's because he might just fall. A little yeah. bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit yeah. from McDonald's. Yeah. Guys, four seats. Yeah. 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 Minor league special right there. That's beautiful. That's you know, this is a sausage and egg and cheese. Put jelly on that? Jelly. What does the strength coach feel about that? How do you feel about that, Tyler? Oh, yeah. My greens. And I owe my blue, my blueberries. What's up? You see Andy Garcia back there? I have a guest visitor on the bus today. He's a star in many movies. Some of you might know him from the Ocean series. Andy Garcia. Hey, hey, how you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Here's the deal, Dean. We're going to go full Puma mode. Lion attack. We're going to get walking right now. Walk first. We're going full lion attack mode right here. <laughs> the way to the first game, when we're going there for the first time, I'll make my, all my paperwork to check their team, their, start, their starters. Who's going against us that day? Matchups. They come and they hit the bus, and all they want to do is sleep. We hear a beep out of them while I'm driving. Occasionally, they want to watch a movie. That's about the most exciting thing they'll do. It's fun. It's so uh, I can't think of anything I'd rather do in the summertime. But he's asleep. Bus. Absolutely. Nothing better than getting the hotel and the room's not ready. Classic minor Classic. league problem. It was a four hour trip, but we finally made it here to Tampa and to the Cardinals team hotel. Now, coming up on the show, we'll go over to Yankee Stadium of the South, Steinbrenner Field. But first, let's go find out what the Palm Beach Cardinals do off the field when they're on the road. It's 11 o'clock. Uh, we're heading to lift. I got my uh, pre-workout coffee. Usually you get two lifts a week uh, and so if you're on the road you'll probably have one lift on every road trip. You really need it for baseball. Um, it's a necessity where you need to take care of your body and also makes you feel loose for the game and if you don't go, you get fined $35. All right, well, we just rolled out of bed. <laughs> what time was it? It's about 12. 12.20, 12.25, 12.30. Yeah, life of a baseball player. Uh, now we're on our way to Mom's Diner. Got a three egg omelet, hash browns and pancakes for six something yesterday. Yeah. 
according to uh, the minority so, uh, budget. <laughs> you get a little bit to eat off of and you try to make it last for the three or four days that you're gone. Yeah. Or at least in the same spot. Sometimes you're gone for yeah. for six to nine days. I eat a lot, so I, I usually don't have much <laughs> left over. Yeah. If any. I'm trying to get him some lunch. I asked him if he wanted breakfast or not, and he said, breakfast at this time, you're crazy. Hash browns. Hash browns. Hash browns. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it, the champions right here. It was like a, a method, it's a process for your pancakes. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, hello. Welcome to our humble abode. On the road. Room. Yeah, this is our uh, our cribs away from home. So we got a, a living room area. This is where we've been playing cards and uh, and hanging out, watching some TV. Yeah. And uh, definitely, definitely again. Since it's a nicer hotel, we have a fridge. We have some microwave. We have a microwave. Little little kitchen area where we sleep, where we lay our heads down to to rest in the evening after a long hard day at the field. This, personally, is my favorite part of the room. Yeah. Just sink into these beds. <laughs> this isn't my favorite area right here. I'd rather be outside on the, on the baseball field. We usually don't have two TVs, usually one TV. And I'm usually in charge of the, the remote because <laughs> he's indecisive of making uh, a choice of what to watch. These are clutch uh. to have on any road trip. As a baseball player. Yeah, definitely. We play two games. Pluck and Big Three. And Mac knows a little bit about this, but I always bring these along. Uh, phase 10. Phase 10 is the game. We have some downtime. We normally uh, try and get some card games in. Especially in the clubhouse. Yeah, especially in the clubhouse. We play a lot of card games. Especially in. the pitchers. The pitchers yeah. play a lot of card games. If you get flashed with the three, you got to pick up the whole deck. You had two threes? <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's how you do it right there. <laughs> now I'm right now. over already for the day. <laughs> and you have a whole thing today. How do you feel? <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Feels good. Feels good. I'm going to have a terrible bullpen because I'm losing the car. No, you're not. Well, thanks, guys. So after working out and going to lunch and even playing some cards, it's time for the team to head to the ballpark on the bus. And here we are at Steinbrenner Field, home of the New York Yankees in the spring and the Tampa Yankees in the summer. Now, later in the show, we'll take a closer look at the stadium. But first, let's find out from the Cardinals what it's like to be the visiting team. But before road trip, I got a call bus company to set up the bus schedule. Then I also sent hotel, the rooming list, to everybody. Then also I have to send Lisa to uh, make a meal money seat. What do you have to bring on the bus trip? Oh, it's the same stuff. We using tape and then uh, medication and uh, shoulder exercise equipment. It's a pretty nice stadium. Yeah, a nice, nice clubhouse, nice clubhouse manager. Yeah, everything good. I carry about seven bags. I'm a bagger. So I carry everything pretty much that I really need with me on the road, and usually I have my own office. It's everything that I need from the opposing team, because I file each team on spray charts, Pitching, tendency, everything you can find. Whatever edge I can get, I get. You can see all those books I carry with me. So all that, it's in that office over there. So it's pretty much feel almost at home. Yeah. And Carnival fans, you know, they're all over. And when we do have the fans, they know everything about us. And they're special. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a 
Cardinals minor league fan though. That's something a little different. And um, I grew up in St. Petersburg and the Cardinals had a minor league team there, the St. Petersburg Cardinals. I've been a Cardinals fan since I was his age. Go to Cardinals! Well, we get here roughly around three o'clock each day and we have early work in the cages and then we have batting practice and then after that it's game time. Get ready for nine innings, here we go. <laughs> Curfew is, uh, it's usually always at midnight on the road, but I haven't missed a curfew yet, so, uh, you know, for me, it's just, I want to get a good night's sleep anyway, so I really shouldn't be out, and, you know, good stuff doesn't usually happen after midnight anyway. Now here at Steinbrenner Field, it's very similar to Yankee Stadium. They even have their own monument park. This is our version of of showing respect to the retired numbers and the retired you know, former players. The Yankees carry you know, a lot of tradition. I mean, the pinstripes, the interlocking NY, not only for the players, it's a tradition to play for them, but I mean, as, as an employee or a staff member, you know, it has, it's a great feeling to come to work every day and to walk by Mr. Steinbrenner's statue or to walk by Monument Park or to walk into our version of, you know, of Yankee Stadium. It has the same feel as Yankee Stadium, the history. It's just, it's just great being a Yankees fan and coming here to watch the Tampa Yankees play every year. Our road trip has ended here in Tampa, so it's time to get back on the bus and head back to Jupiter, home sweet home. But before we close this show on Roger Dean Stadium TV, let's take one final look at Tampa and all the sights. I'm Lisa Pride, and I'll see you at the ballpark. Sometimes we'll come down.